The search continues right now for the six-week-old baby who is at the center of a statewide Amber Alert. Good evening, I'm Anne Marie Tiernan. And I'm John Stair. Delano Wilson has been missing since yesterday afternoon. That's when his father says a man and woman hit him over the head and snatched the baby. My back, I look over, they turned the corner. I can see the cover of my son in the back seat and the young lady was holding him. Why? Why would you take my baby? Why can't you just drop him off somewhere safe? The search continues tonight and Eyewitness News crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson along the White River tonight where police were searching late today. Steve. The water here on the White River is just too shallow for the first dive team that was here. They did search the outer banks here, but a second dive team is on its way at the request of detectives who are looking to exhaust all possibilities in the search for Delano Wilson. Metro police officers are leaving no stone unturned in the search for a kidnapped baby boy. One month old Delano Wilson went missing more than 24 hours ago. His father, Willie Wilson, says during an armed robbery Wednesday around noon, a man and a woman took Delano out of his arms. It happened on West Henry Street where Wilson emerged from this alley injured and panicking about his missing son. A mother living nearby named Christina, who didn't want to go on camera, shared with Eyewitness News what she told detectives. You know, I seen the dad come out of the alley and, you know, first when all the first of the cops started showing up and I was out here most of the day yesterday, you know. I mean, I hope I helped them. In addition to canvassing the neighborhood, talking to people who live near the scene of the crime, police also used a bloodhound team to sniff for clues. So far, nothing solid from video turned over to detectives from a company's exterior security cameras either. Anxious to find one-month-old Delano, the boy's father and mother taped up flyers urging people to call 911 if they spot him or his kidnappers. After seeing the suspects drive away Wednesday afternoon, Christina's heart goes out to the parents and their missing newborn son. No, that's not fair, you know. Why would you punish the baby for no reason, you know? Baby needs to be with its mom. That second dive team is expected here to the White River within the hour. Now, detectives won't say exactly what led them here. We can tell you that we're about a mile and a half away from where the father says uh, his son was kidnapped. Detectives say their main goal is to locate Delano Wilson. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Steve. It is distressing that that's where their search is right now. Now, today, both the mother and the father of the baby spoke out pleading for their son's safe return. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Chapman with what they had to say. Somebody knows where this baby at. Somebody has to speak up. That's, that's all I'm saying. We need to find my son. Retracing the path where he says his son was abducted, Willie Wilson passed out flyers asking for help locating baby Delano. He says it's all he can do after being locked up the last 24 hours on a possession of marijuana charge. Everything's been berserk. Mm -hmm. They've been coming at me left and right. I'm telling all I want to do is find my, we just want to find our son. Mm -hmm. That's it. I can't stress it no harder. I can't stress. I, we've been through hell and high water. I moved out here just for my family. Questioned by investigators, Wilson says he has no idea who took his son. He told 13 investigates the same story he told police, that he was pistol whipped and robbed in broad daylight by a white male with an Hispanic woman before they drove off with the baby. I could tell he was on drugs because he was aggressive, eyes bloodshot red. The female, she's shaking. She didn't want to do nothing because she, she didn't know what was going on. I see her big green hoop earrings and I see her green shirt and I see the cover that I had my son wrapped up in. His account brings distress to Tanisha Perkins, baby Delano's mother, who made an impassioned plea earlier in the day. Please, please let my son go. Because right now I can't stand on my own two feet. I can't breathe. I can't sleep at night. 
Now, Willie Wilson has been involved in another child investigation, this one over in Ohio. He told me just a short time ago that that case involved his daughter. He says she had a seizure and that he got her to the hospital, but he says he did nothing wrong and that it was a custody battle. He says the problem here today is that he wants everyone to focus on missing Delano and wants to bring him home. Reporting live from the southwest side, Sandra Chapman, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Sandra, thank you for the latest information. We have more from the parents along with pictures of the baby and also detailed descriptions of those kidnapping suspects for you on our website, WTHR.com.